Still an aggressive field to Michael Clark. People waiting to catch. Clark goes after it and says, Nope, nope, you won't do this to me. Yeah, why no third man in place? New Zealand are looking to take wickets, be aggressive. Knew exactly that, Michael Clark, so I could. So clever by Michael Clark, not exactly where he wanted it to be, but good enough. Up ah, the hands of Gully. As McCullum searches for wickets, so Michael Clark searches for responses. Consecutive boundaries. Not all that short from Matt Henry on that occasion. Just enough width. Well, that's a shot. That's a real shot of authority from Michael Clark. That is a statement in itself. 23 overs gone, 112 for two. It's been quite a resolute defence. Not, not the worst delivery, just a length ball. And Michael Clark goes crunch over wide mid on. And uh, <laughs> a shot of authority, there's no doubt about that. And uh, that releases the pressure. It has been just a fraction too short tonight. This time over mid off. It was coming. He's a good player of spin, Michael Clark. The mid-off was up, and that was the easier option. Hit with the turn. Key here. A perfect example of just using your feet. And it was effortless because he did the hard part. He got himself in the position. Just not even to have to overhit the ball. He never panicked through the shot. And he's batting pretty well too. That's glorious. Last three or four overs, he has stamped his class. Once again, a good hit. He's set. Just lets the ball come on to his bat. He's such a good timer of the cricket ball. Yes. 50 for Michael Clark, and a very good one at that. On the biggest occasion and one of the most sentimental in his career. Well, the face and the body says it all. How much it meant to him. Didn't have much to chase, but you know, wicket at that stage could have put a little more pressure on Australia. And the captain stands up in his last game. Full toss. Crunched right in the middle of the gap. I reckon that'll race away for four. Quick outfield here in Melbourne these days. Rock hard, flies away for another boundary. Brendan McCollum, he's kept attacking fields all the way through this innings, which he had to do, and that means there's plenty of gaps to get through the infield, it's four. Since Michael Clark has got to the crease, he played a four defence early on, you just thought, sure, that uh, hit the middle of the bat. And that's a great shot from Michael Clark, and Michael all the way, that no, one bounce. Yeah, just stepping down the hammer here, to get to this culmination of this moment, I'm sure there's... Some goosebumps flying through him already, knowing that he's around the corner from lifting a World Cup trophy. Oh, yeah, that adrenaline will be flowing. More wide. Oh, that, that could go all the way again. Yeah, that's going to race away for four. Back-to-back -back boundaries for Michael Clark, and as we the back-to-back boundaries. Oh, he's on his way. That's gone down. That's another boundary. Pisses the gap. Three in a row for Michael Clark, and the end is not far away. Just 15 required now for Australia. Yeah, great way to go out. It's always nice to uh, go out on a high and for people to ask you the question, why are you, rather than why don't you? Well, he's going again. He's cut that high and wide. He had the width. He's advancing. Adrenaline's flowing. He wants this wrapped up. That's four in a row. Four boundaries. Back to back. 11 now required. Best place to be bowling. It's four square cuts in a row. Great fast hands there. I agree with you. It's just been a long World Cup, a lot of emotion, a lot of intensity for the Kiwis who play a lot of their cricket at home, had great support.